What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G-Maya's World, and it's about that time. Trevor Lawrence is about to be raid sold effective immediately, but I want you guys to understand, I don't take this lightly. Um, I really did like the way he was playing, but for some reason, he's throwing the ball extremely inaccurately. I see a lot of the stuff that's coming in, though. You know, a lot of the feedback that you guys give, yo, g -Maya, all the QBs pretty much play the same right now. They all suck. The golden tickets, the only advantage they give is the ability slots, you know, to get different abilities for a lot cheaper. Every year over the last four years has been like this. Uh, pretty much at some point, all the cards begin to play the same. Um, you know, Aaron Rodgers and uh, Brett Favre in a category of their own because they throw the ball so fast, but they don't have the speed that we're looking for. So looking at Trey Lance right now, it's very, very interesting that some of you guys were like, yo, you might as well go with him because he's a 49er. But I don't, at this point in the year, it doesn't really matter about me getting that additional 49ers boost. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need the boost for it. Yeah, yeah, I'll get the extra plus, whatever, plus two. I got the sprinter, stuff like that. But it's nothing that is so major that I have to get somebody that's a 49er. So I saw him around. I'm like, you know what? You know, Trey Lance, huh? He's a scrambler. I don't really like the way that they get their ability slots. So I'm looking through the cards. Because at this point, I'm just looking for anybody that's going to work for us, bro. Any card that can work. That RG3 is trash. If you guys watch the... um the Madden Bowl, you were able to see a lot of stuff. And if you were in the comment section, you would see as well. RG3 just sales passes. Nobody knows why he does it. Nobody really understands. He just sales passes. Um, you know, on the run, he'll make some dots, whatever. But he just, even though his numbers look a certain way, it's not really living up to the billing. And many of you guys are the ones telling me like, yo, Jemaya, yo, yo, you were right. That dude's garbage. But for the majority of the people that don't really, you know, understand what's going on, they're like, yo, he's raw. Like, dude, he's going to let you get what's coming to you. Trust me when I tell you, that dude's garbage. But he can dominate in certain aspects. If you just get lucky and you run around outside with escape artists and throw dots across your body. You know, if you do weird stuff like that, you can be really, really good in this game. If you do the most unrealistic things, you will be unbelievable because that's the way the game is built. It's built for it to be like that so that more people can understand, you know, enjoy the game. Now, I wanted to try out Matt Jones. I don't like it. Bro, the dude's at 82 speed. Like, you can't be a pocket passer completely in Madden 21. As a matter of fact, I don't think we could have been a pocket passer in a lot of the years. Because what happens is, you're going to get smashed up. Dudes are going to send one, maybe two if you're lucky. Yeah, dude, look look at this right here, bro. Justin Fields, but hes I don't think he's... Yeah, he doesn't get um, Hot Route Master based on uh, his numbers. It, it's definitely weird right now, guys, the way that this is working out. I don't really know... You know what's going to be the right move i know we have a you know decent amount of quarterbacks coming out uh golden tickets left i'm not sure where we are with it yet you know what i'm saying i don't know how it's going to work will we Taysom hill golden ticket is very intriguing to me i'm just waiting to see exactly how his throwing motion is going to be you know what i'm saying because at some point they're going to have to tune the game so that we can enjoy it even though they don't like us they still have to make it so that we want to play the game it's a very very wild situation at this point where everybody's just raging. You see, the thing about it is, it's weird because you guys can come to me to rage, but then I'll get a bunch of weirdos that'll be like, yo, bro, what you talking about? Because they, they don't understand what's going on. They just run around with their quarterback and throw the ball across the back. You know, they run backwards, throw the ball backwards, you know, flip the ball all over the place, and it works. They have a delay fade for 30 minutes, and they're like, yo, bro, I'm good. That's not the way it's supposed to be, though. So when you understand that, it really makes you understand, like, all right, you're going to have to adapt to what this game is or you're going to suffer the consequences. There's no in-between with it. EA Sports is not playing favorites. You are going to get exactly what's coming to you. So for me, it was a tough decision. But we ended up saying, you know what? We're going to go. We're going to give Trey Lance a chance. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see what he's about. We're going to try to figure out, yo, look, is this guy good? Is he not? Like, what's up with this dude? You know what I'm saying? That's what our goal is right now. Will he last because he's a Niner? I don't care about the Niner theme teams. I keep trying to tell you guys, early in the year to get that additional boost of speed, yes, I'm all in. At this point, no, it doesn't matter. So if this dude thinks he's gonna come out into my locker room and act a fool, he's getting raid sold next video, dude. I don't care. But from what I've seen, he actually throws the ball pretty fast. Now, he gets Gunslinger for four AP, which is kind of stupid, but it doesn't really matter though. He is a guy that I believe he may be around for a little bit, probably like at least two days, 
because the next golden ticket drop is coming. Um, so I'll probably give him two days. I'm not 100% sure though. And I don't want you guys to think like he's gonna be here for long. Many of you guys know that he might be gone during this video. Like I might like edit it out and just start rage selling him in the video, depending on what happens, you know, in my mood. But from what I've seen, and look, for those of you guys that were in the stream, you got a sneak peek. You got to see what he was about. You got to see that he does have some potential, okay? But with the way that the game is played, does that mean he's going to be a guy that's going to start? I do not know. I will tell you this though, we're done with Trevor Lawrence. Because for some reason, he just does not throw the ball the way it's supposed to be thrown, and he causes a lot of issues for me. So I don't want that, I don't want that to be a reoccurring thing. Plus the way that his speed is, you know, it, it, he can't really do much. And although he's big and he can truck and do all that stuff, it's still not, he, he's just not suitable right now for the way we're running the offense. I love the fact that he's a field general. I love conductor. I love all the stuff that he was doing as far as getting some of the, I think we were only using six AP on him and it was pretty decent. So I can't really complain about that part, but he was sailing passes. He was throwing passes inaccurately and weird stuff was happening. Now it could just be that EA is like, yo, other cards are coming. Go, yo, sell them, get your coins and be ready. It could just be that. Remember this also. He's a 99, that's 100,000 training. With the next golden ticket drop, we could use that to go ahead and see what we could do as far as pulling a golden ticket. So there's a lot of different options going on here. We will have an avenue to kind of go with it to see what it's about. Um, if you guys want me to do that, if you guys would like for me to try to pull for a golden ticket, you know, live on stream or, you know, boot up a stream here on YouTube, whatever for you guys, we can try to do that. But I'm gonna hold on to him now. He's, dude, he, ch listen, I wanted to raid sell him and then I just thought about it, right? Like right now during this video, they're about to do another drop of golden tickets. Why not just wait it out? Hold on to the 100,000, um, you know, training and then do it that way because we got him for a decent price. So it won't really affect us as much. And then if we get another card that we want or we pull multiple golden tickets, we'll just get our coin stack up and it'll work out either way. So taking a look at all of his abilities right here, you guys kind of see that gunslinger at four, that's nasty. But if he can work for us to get the ball off and he can move around the way that we like, you know, roll outside the pocket, do weird stuff, we should be okay. You know, just for now, because like I said, the game is designed for a quarterback that can move. So if he's able to do some of the minimal things, we should be okay, all right? He might be gone right after this video was done being watched by you. You might get another pop-up alert like, yo, rage sold right away. Or he could turn out to be good enough to where we're like, yo, it might hurt us to lose him. I don't know. Either way, we'll be trying to trying out the other golden tickets because you guys want that as far as like, you know, taste some hill and that stuff. But these are his numbers right here. They're very, very suitable numbers. There's nothing that's really standing out to where it's like, yo, the dude's garbage. I don't like the deep accuracy being 92, but like I said, I played one game with him and I threw a deep pass and it was extremely accurate. So we just have to wait to see how it's gonna work out. But his release is looking really, really glitchy at this time right now. Will it last? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But I think for right now, it's something that's worth a try. So I will get you guys out some gameplay. Probably the first game that I played with him. And I'll give it to you guys live as a live commentary, all right? I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying your day. Stay well, stay safe. One love, y'all.